pause it, and uh, here in a few minutes, when you guys come up here and do some things, we'll, uh, we'll keep playing it so you can guys watch a little bit more. Like I said, it's about an hour long. We give everybody a coffee of it to highlight at the banquet right here, so uh, and we, we play it. They, our guys sit around, they watch it all the time. I'm sure Bo's watched it a few times, they even back. Uh, Coach Swinney just got here, you guys know him. He coaches <laughs> online for us, outside linebackers, and recently he's now the associate head coach. Okay, so excited about him. You guys know him pretty well. Most of y'all probably had him in class now. Uh, guys, one thing we're going to talk about, uh, and, and you guys kind of introduced, saw it right there on the uh, highlight film, is it's about who we are. Okay, but Some of you guys have brothers that play for us. We as a staff have come to watch you guys play uh, football as well as basketball. And I want to say right now, congratulations to the basketball team. You guys do some great things. Keep going. Okay, don't stop. Don't ever be satisfied because I think you guys can take it off. But we're going to show a little PowerPoint. But get Coach Price to pull it up there real quick. And at the top there it says it. Okay? And, and, it, and it, you guys, y'all like Zach Brown? Y'all like Zach Brown, man? Y'all got girlfriends? Y'all know y'all see those girls walk around and say, yo, she's got it. And whatever that is, is you don't really, you can't really explain it. But you may like them for some reason. You think about the, the best football players of all time. They always have it. You, coaches don't really can't explain it. Like Ray Lewis, he's all he does all the dance and stuff, but he's got it when he plays football. The, be, the best teams of all time, the New England Patriots, they seem like they're always there contending for the Super Bowl every year. Why? Because they have whatever it is. Well, at Campbell County football, we describe our it. And our it... There's about five phases. It's about who we are. First, offensively. If you guys come see us play, our it offensively is we, we're going to be a very efficient offensive machine. Maybe we want to put up a lot of points. We play a four or five wide receiver set. Our quarterback last year, Ethan Jeffers, was the district newcomer of the year, put 350 times. So we need a ton of receivers. And they all, we had, I think, five guys catch between 30 and 35 passes last year. Most of them, you guys know. But one thing about it is we're, we feel like that gives us an opportunity and also gives you guys an opportunity. Our thing is we want our players to do what they do. We want to get you the ball and do it. So that's kind of our it when it comes to our offense. Coach Price of defense, he's going to explain what our it is when it comes to defense and strength and conditioning. Guys, defensively, again, we're, we're very multiple as far as, you know, we, we like to send a lot of pressure. Uh, so most of you guys will get more involved in that later in the road. But, you know, defensively, we, we're all about keeping guys fresh. We have some really big guys coming back next year. You guys come up there and start working out. You're going to see the Chris Monday and Bill Presnell and Andrew Evans, these guys that sit right there where you guys are, they're big kids. And, uh, you know, defensively, we're just about, we, we keep it simple. And Coach Parker can tell you, we, last few games of the year, we were running one call and held Powell, who went to the semifinals in 5 8 of seven points. The only team we've done it all year. And, I mean, they beat everybody. They won 12 games. And we're a field goal away from beating them. And a lot of that was due to our defense just being simple. Guys like Nick Bailey. Uh, some names that you guys know, like now that played here, that do the same, walk through the same doors that you guys had. They're that are some of the best players in the state. Uh, you know, and that's kind of defense. The, but the reason strength and conditioning goes together is the way we work out is really defensive practice every day. It's high tempo. It's going from lift to lift. You know, heavy lifting, you're running. You're going here. There's none of this. We're gonna do eight sets of bench. Do it. Wait around for five minutes and then go do it again. It's you do bench. You move on to the next thing. And that's one thing I think our kids from last, from our first year, our second year, was the, the look of our guys and how athletic they look. And, I mean, if you guys know Max's brother, Bo, I mean, that was, I mean, he weighed 150 pounds. I think right now he's probably 180. And a lot of that is his mindset. But a lot of it is just, you know, the way we set up our weight room is how the conditioning and all that stuff. And it just trickles on into the defensive side of the ball. So if you like flying around, you like playing fast, that's simple, where it ain't complicated, you're going to love playing defense and you're going to love being in the weight room. Uh, the next it that we have and we define and who we are is our core values. And that's everything we do as a coaching staff, as a player, anybody involved in our program has seen these words. They're all over the place. They're on a big mural we had in our weight room during the uh, in the locker room, anything. And we just got these for our kids. Now, don't tell them. They don't know they're getting them. They're actually giving them today. Just a little, we call them a commitment band. And on it, it's got a cougar paw, and it says focus, discipline, compete, accountable, and toughness. And those five words are our core values. I mean, everything that we do, everything about our program does that. The way our kids play, they're focused, they, they compete, they're disciplined, they're accountable to each other. All those things that I know you guys have learned here.
okay, because I know who's coached you guys here. Coach Parker does a great job. Coach Miller. Those are the things, those five core values. And we got five for a reason. Everything we do has a purpose. And when you put five things together like a fist, it's more control. Uh, fingers aren't as strong. If you get them all together, it's a fist. Do some damage with these things, right? But y'all better not be five. So that's one thing about it, those core values. The next thing, or last thing that describes our it is our style. And it's the way our coaches act, the way we talk and walk about school in the community, all over the place. Number one is we have a collective mentality. Seems like a big word, but basically what it means is we're all on the same page. Our coaches are, our players, we know what, they know what to expect, we know what to expect from our players. So we're all on the same page. Number two is we have a very positive attitude. The thing about football, you guys know, in sports, anything, I know the basketball team, off to a rough start, but it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish, right? But you guys stay consistent with a positive attitude and attack every day with that, and it pays off. We're trying to do those same things in our football program. The third thing is we're, we're very confident in what we do. we got a plan for you guys. We've got a plan for our old heads, but we're very confident in what we do. We don't deviate from our plan. All of our coaches buy into it and believe it, and then we sell it to you guys every single day. And the fourth thing that we do, and this is easy, is we work our tails off. Nothing in life worth having comes easy, does it? And you don't get where you want to be without working your tail off. And that's, that's kind of the style that we do. And that's a little bit about, that's our it. So when you talk about whatever it is, well, that's what Campbell County is. Not everybody knows this. We don't share this with everybody. We want to share it with you guys because you're a part of us. All right, 2013, some things that we got coming up for you guys. We'll go through this kind of quickly. <clears throat> Number one is when you guys come up there and start working out with us and start competing, is I want you to come in, in there with the mentality that you can play on the Friday night when we play Cumberland Gap Week Zero. Because we want everybody on our team to come up there thinking they're going to play. We play the best players. We don't care what grade they're in. Senior, freshman, it doesn't matter. We're going to play the best. So you guys come up there and you attack that. When you guys start coming up is I'm ready to play on Friday night. The middle school teams talking to each other. We have a close relationship with you guys and also the fall. Okay, you guys played some great games this year against each other. Got to play each twice. You guys came out on top. Congratulations. And that's very important that you guys learn how to, we want guys to know how to learn how to win. You guys have win and everything that you've done since you've been here. But you guys complement each other very well. You guys got some good skill guys and got some good linemen in here. LaFollette, we'll what sometimes, some things that you guys are missing, they have. Some of the things that they are missing, you guys have. If you guys get together, you guys can do some damage. Okay, so I just wanted to say that you guys complement each other very well, and I'm excited about that. We're the only show in town. All these Knoxville County schools, Anderson County schools, they got to share Friday nights with a high school that's five minutes away. We don't. Okay, Jellico, we support them and they're a good program, but that's, that's a long way away from us. We're the only show in town. Everybody's excited about what we're doing and because of you guys. Okay, and you guys have got some, a lot of hype about that I'm excited about. It. The next thing we sell this right now is do something that's never been done. Any competitor, like you guys right now in basketball, you guys are about to do some things that's never been done around here in a long time, if ever, as a coach. It's the only time I've been in the Final Four, right? So think about that. How special is that? That nobody's ever done that before. That's what we're going to do in our football program. You guys are going to be able to do some things up there that nobody's ever said they can do. And, if, and whatever that is, that's up to you guys. And we're going to get there. And the last thing is, you guys seen us at Dillon Stadium? We're going back this year. Okay? And we take everybody a part of our, on our team. Freshmen, seniors, it doesn't matter. So every one of you guys will get to stay on that sideline with Peyton Man and all those the greats that's played there. You guys get to do that, and we're excited about it. Guys, that's kind of about what we do. Okay? Uh, what we're going to do now is Coach Price will continue the highlight film, uh, and we're going to pass out a couple uh, sheets of paper. One of them has a calendar of when you guys can start coming to work out. We work out, here's a general of it, is Monday through Thursday. From after school, you guys can catch a bus and you can talk to Mr. Ruth for about what bus to catch. All I ask guys, when you get on that bus, behave, okay? It's a five minute ride up there. No, no, don't get in any trouble, okay? Last year we had a group from down here and got a little trouble. We had to situate that. But make sure you guys just stay on, remember, discipline, those core values, these five things that we live, no matter where you at, that's what you got to do. So we're going to have a, we're going to pass those out. And it's going to, one is for your parents. Take it home. It kind of explains about what's going on. The second sheet of paper is kind of a little uh, 
a contact information sheet that we want you to, uh, to get on there and sign and put your name, put your cell phone number, okay? Put your cell phone number on there so we can get in contact with you or when you're up there, if something happens, we can call somebody, okay? Another way to find out information, if you'll look, most, uh, every coach we have is on Twitter, okay? I know most of you guys do Twitter, but we put a lot of stuff in there about what we're doing, so look us up on Twitter, we'll be on there. Follow us, we'll follow you back probably, so that means you're going to be careful. We'll monitor those things. But uh, look us up on there, and we'll, we'll share some information that way too. All right, but if you guys have any questions at all right now about anything. Okay, and I'm going to say this. I want you guys, if you play any sport here at Jacksboro, I want you to be committed to that. Okay? The guys that we want to come work out are the ones that you're not playing any sport. When your career, high school, or middle school career is done, they come up there. It's not going to hurt. We want to teach you guys how we do things and kind of get you a head start on other people. So if you're playing basketball, you're playing track, you don't have to worry about the workouts. And if you have any questions, Coach Sweeney, Coach Parker are here. They know exactly what's going on. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, just go by and see them. And guys, what we're doing, we got these sheets. There's one you got to sign. You can sign it and put your uh, contact information on that and give it to one of the coaches here. But after you do that, at one by one, we're going to take a picture right here. Okay, you're going to sit right here, uh, and the coaches are going to stand around. We're going to get a, a picture of every one of you guys fairly quickly, and then we're going to do a group shot. Okay, but while you're doing that, while you're waiting, you can, uh, we'll be passing those out, and we'll also uh, be showing the top ten plays and performances. Like Coach Price said, a lot of those guys walk these hallways, and they're some big-time players right there. 